next legacy. Who's a black call or unlisted caller that's calling oh, in right now? Yeah, that's Mayday. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that was you. Mayday, what's up, sweetie? <laughs> what's going on? Not much. How's everything going on with you tonight? Pretty good, man. Pretty that's good. That's good. First off, hey, I most definitely got to thank you for coming on uh, on this Tuesday ladies night on VMR, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to start micing up some of the staff members and stuff like that too, but uh let these listeners know who you who you be, where you from and uh what's up with you. Oh yeah, first off, thanks for having me. Um the name is Mayday from Detroit, um Michigan and basically just hip hop, you know, just I make good music, put it out here, and uh, change the stereotype and, and the stigma that, that's that been surrounding uh, female artists, mainly rap and hip-hop artists, trying to, you know, change the expectation of what people been having for that and, and set the bar a lot higher than what it's been, so. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gonna we gonna get into you know what I'm saying the the state of um you know the ladies in hip hop and R and B and all kinds of stuff like that you know what I'm saying a little bit later on but uh you know what I'm saying when you know since a lot of it's basically you're 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 not just new to the game but you know what I'm saying you're probably new to a lot of you know the, the people that's actually about to listen to your joint tonight you know what I'm saying uh tell people a little bit about you know what I'm saying how you got started you know in this in this business and stuff like that and uh, who you've actually interacted with over the course of your career. All right, well, to make a long story short, um, <clears throat> pretty much, you know, started on my own, just writing and, and try to do things, um, you know, by myself, you know, booking studio time and creating this stuff. Eventually hooked up um, with Kid Vicious, who was worth the Five Nines brother, and, you know, just started, you know, not really being a part of that circle as far as an artist, but, you know, just being in the studio with Royce. We were, uh, me and his brother were coming up at the same time. So, you know, we were kind of just being able to watch him and see how he works and ev everything and, you know, pick his brain every now and then. Um, you know, they were like family, at, you know, at that point. And then eventually I branched off into my own because I didn't want to be in anyone's shadow. And I took, you know, what I learned from what I was seeing, you know, with Royce's, you know, work ethic and his artistry and everything. And um, this guy named Nice, uh, who used to work at Hot 97, um, mm -hmm. I went to school with him, and basically he hooked me up with Sick Notes, who did, like, the Eminem and D12's How Come song, as well as, like, Overstrike yeah. right now and stuff like that. Yep, and then just hooked up with them. And, like, a year later, you know, things popped off with them where, you know, we got together and made it official and, you know, later on put out an album and now I'm work still with Wit from Sick Notes where he started his own company, The Notes, and we're putting out a new product, working with uh, MC Search and um, mm -hmm. got new management. I mean, this is a very long story made short, but, you know, and now we're about to put out a, a project with Mixed Boogie um, hosting and this is probably going to be the breakout, or not probably, it's going to be the breakout um, project right. where, you know, a lot more people get to know who Mayday is and, and really get the foot in the door, um, you know, nationally, so. Yeah, you coming yeah, out the gates with yeah. some swag. You coming out the gates <laughs> with some swagger because, you know what I'm saying, you got you got, a, you got a lot of people under your belt that's really kind of like, you know what I'm saying, they're really taking you in and just like really appreciate you for the skills that you got. Like, you know what I'm saying, I was looking at a quote MC Light pretty much put about you and, you know what I'm saying, she mm -hmm. wanted to let the world know that May Day is coming, you know what I'm saying. She said she's proud yeah. to know it and say it, so, you know what I'm saying, that's yeah. official. Yeah, it's, it's been a blessing, man. Like, people uh, <clears throat> slowly but surely um, – you know, catching wind of uh, uh, what's going on over here and what we doing and what I'm doing. And it's been, mm -hmm. you know, just pretty much all great, you know, feedback and, and everybody wants to, you know, help and, and do what they can, you know. So that's that's what's making things a lot easier, you know, with MC Search, MC Light, Nick Boogie, uh, just, you know, the list goes on of, uh, of people who just want to, you know, help and, and use the resources that they can to say, look, this is somebody y'all need to 
here, you know, somebody y'all need to pay attention to, so. That's what's up, and this is Tuesday Ladies Night with uh, Brandon in the house on, on this Ladies Night with, uh, you know what I'm saying, Uti is in the house. I got I got uh, WSL and V from Vague mic'd up, and I'm also getting ready to mic up Big Rich, and we're getting ready to get the staff in. A lot of people actually coming in as far as not just in the chat rooms, but also emails and stuff. So if y'all got anything y'all to bring to the table for this talented young lady, make sure y'all do call in, 347-215-8653. Uh, Miss Uti, I'll start with you. Do you have any questions for this young lady? Yeah, I do have a question. I'm curious to know how you got your name, Mayday. What is there something behind that? Um, I was just looking for something that rolled off the tongue a little better um, when I hooked up with Thick Notes. And what I did, I went online and was looking up um, movie characters online. I was at a James Bond website. And it was like one of the first uh, black Bond girls, if not the first, played by Grace Jones. Her name was Mayday. Uh-huh. She was, yeah, she was like his toughest competition that he's pretty much ever had. Because, you know, he's always known for those Bond girls. And she was like right. the black Bond girl and, you know, the most serious one. So it was just like perfect fit. And the name means, you know, it's a problem. It's a call for help. However, you know, you perceive it. So it just, it fit. Yeah, it does That's dope. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Coming up out of Detroit, Michigan, most definitely, you know what I'm saying? Also want to want to go ahead and join the conversation in with, uh, you know what I'm saying, V from Vegas in the house. Vague, what it do, fam? Vague, where you at, bro? All right, Vague's in my Will, what's up, man? How you doing? Yo, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Um, Uchi, Mayday, Brandon. Hey, how you doing? Chilling, chilling. That's what's up. That's what's up. Let me go ahead and bring in Big Rich. Big Rich is in the house too. Rich, what it do? What's up, family, man? I'm just out here, man. You know I'm on location, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the move again. You feel me? Big Rich in the motherfucking building. We got Mad Day. You know what I'm saying? You out here doing it live, man. How you doing it live, baby? You feel me? I love it. What's good with y'all though, man? Hey, we still in the night. We still in the night. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Rich, when you when you make sure you make a comment, mute yourself, bro. So we can be able to fill in. That motherfucker, wow, this dude. That's this hilarious. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Rich, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think he did mute himself, so you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. But, uh... Yeah, Rich, Rich is a good dude, and we in the house tonight. Will, it will UT, anybody else that's going to be calling in and stuff like that, make sure y'all, if y'all got questions, make sure y'all throw it out at her and stuff like that too. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, we're going we gonna to play your joint, you know what I'm saying, um, in just a second. But, uh, you know, we got people in the chat room wanting to know a little bit more about you. You know what I'm saying, we had uh, uh, Brandy's calling. Well, actually, she's not calling, but she's actually sending an email. She's actually from... North Carolina, she just wanted to know how old were you when you started rapping? Man, I don't even know, to be honest. Um, the first time that I really actually remember, like, writing uh, a rap and actually, like, trying to record it, you know, when you had the boom box that you could record in with the tape over the radio, <laughs> yeah. I did the, the whole thing like that. Mm-hmm. That was about elementary or middle school, you know, but it was always an off and on thing. Like I always been a, a big fan of music and everything. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I it eventually went down the rap road because when I was younger, it was more so just entertaining period, whether it's singing, rapping, whatever. So, but around that time, like elementary, middle school, going into middle school, I guess that was around the time when I started writing or around the first time, you know, that I started I can remember. Yeah. That's what's up. Who are your main you know, influences when it, when it comes to the um, hip hop game? Oh, when it comes to hip hop, ah, man. Well, you know, the usual suspects, you, you got the Jays and the Nazis. Um, I'm a big fan of Common. Um, I like the Roots, uh, Outcast. That's what's up. Um, mm hmm. Man, it's it's like we can go old school to 
to all the way up until now, like who's doing something now that I like. I like Lupe's flow lyrically. I like I love Royce the Five Nine. Um, mm-hmm. I like Joe Buttons. You know, um, it's 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 so many people. It's like whoever got something hot right now that I need to be hearing is. I like lyricists. So mm-hmm. anyone that's 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 making me think. Or anyone that where I can hear something and I come back a week later, or that's why I like Jay, you know, the old Jay. You can come back a year later and hear the same song and just catch a metaphor. So anybody mm-hmm. that can make me do that. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. So that's what's up. Let me go ahead and uh, open up the uh, mic for uh, you know the homeboy out there in the Harlem world. A butters in the house. A what it do, fam? Hey, what it do? What it do, Pimpin'? What's going on with everybody tonight, man? Hey, Dizzle. Uh-huh. Hey, Dizzle. Hey, Dizzle. You, 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 Teasy. Hey, shout out to, uh, you know, speaking of ladies and rap, shout out to my sister Babs, Bunny. You know what I'm saying? Lady Luck and the whole fan movement. You know what I mean? Shout out to Mayday. You know what I mean? That's, That's real. Hey, hey, Bunny, this is Big Rich. What it do, Pimpin'? I know. I know. I heard it. I heard the, uh, the giant microwave. I heard it. <laughs> 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 that nigga in location in motherfucking Pakistan, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, I'm out here, man, you know what I'm saying? We got to try to make it do what it do, man. We got May Day on here, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Very deep sister. Hey, Dizzle, when the fuck is up? Hey, yeah. Big Rich, since you, hey, Rich, since you work with, you know what I'm saying, female R&B artists and stuff like that, I know you got questions and stuff for, you know, for May Day, because, you know what I'm saying, I know you work hand-in-hand with, you know what I'm saying, female artists and stuff, so... You know what kind of what kind of words you wanna you wanna speak to as far as you know what I'm saying what's good with the with the female MCs out here, bro? Yeah, what 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 really what is what inspire you to rap? What makes you get out there every day and want to get in the studio and spend them long sixteen seventeen hour hour days in the studio and uh, do your thing? Uh, probably what drives you? What drives? What drives me is I, I see a void that hasn't been filled, you know, like and like in the female lane. It's just I want my place in history and I feel like music is my lane to make my place in history. I feel like that I had a chance to do something in a way that hasn't been done before and and create my own lane for for others to follow and that just that that place in history where when you think about hip hop that when someone brings up hip hop, just like you think of the Run DMCs, or you hear the Biggies and Pox and all of that, I want my name to come up like that. I was a part of history, so you know, just music. Period. It ain't even gotta be hip hop. And <clears throat> like you know, some people want to be rich or famous or whatever, and I want all that too. But or the money part. But you know, I want my place in history. I want somebody to open a book or to come up in conversation long after I'm gone and be saying my name, you know, and, and, and crediting me for for some great things that that's happened, you know. So I feel like this this is my lane to do that, to make my mark, and then to evolve into, you know, other areas and to, to make my imprint on the world. So that, that's, that's, real. that's how I'm going to do it. That's, that's the car that I'm taking to get to where I'm going, so. That's what's up. And, and, and all you people out there that's in the building tonight on VMR, we do got Mayday in the house on Vintage Music Radio. Tonight is ladies' night. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make sure we keep it pushing. If y'all got questions, make sure y'all toss out that, uh, you know, send that good email. If you can't reach your phone right now, hit it up at vintagemusicradio at gmail.com. Also, if you want to call in, make sure you do it, 347 347- Two one five eight six five three, and uh, you know, with, with all your affiliations dealing with, um, you know, work working around, you know, MC Light, MC Search, you know, what I'm saying, and I'm 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 looking at this quote from uh, you know, Lenny S, the VP for A uh, and R at Dev Jam, and you know, he pretty much got you in his in his sights as far as you know, what I'm saying, somebody that uh, you know, is definitely uh, up and coming and stuff like that, you know, what I mean, from you doing local talent shows to, you know, what I'm saying doing you know, different type of venues and stuff like that. I mean, how comfortable are you, like, really getting on stage and just really rocking it out? You know what I'm saying? I want to see it. <laughs> I'm real comfortable with that. I'm I'm just, you know, just give me the place and the time, yeah. and I'm there. And um, I, I just, I love it. Like, I, it's not a problem for me. It, it feels natural. 
it's something that you know come pretty much easy for me, and I, I I love that. That's 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 the connection that I'm making to somebody else. That's what I'm doing it for to connect and and, and to make people you know feel something. So when I'm on stage. I can't see the reaction from a CD that you might have playing me, but on stage, I can do it, and I can I can convince some, you know, some naysayers or some people that might be on the fence and not really believe. Like if I'm on that stage, by the end of the night, I'm getting a lot more debt from people who might have been mean mugging me at the beginning of the show when they see a female right. walk on. So, I mean, yeah. I love it. That's what's up, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and mic up the man that we had mic'd up earlier, but I guess he didn't get through, but now he's in the building. V, you in the house, man. What it do? What's with it? What's up with it, Mayday? Um, what's up with it, fam? How y'all doing tonight, man? Chillin', chillin'. Yeah, man. Chillin' tonight, bro. You know what I'm saying? We definitely got one of the representatives, you know what I'm saying, that's actually about to take a level up on, in her career. and You know what I'm saying? And, and Mayday, we always talk about, you know what I'm saying, you know, not just the ladies, but just in general of it being an art form instead of it just being just about the money and, you know, in most cases with the men being about the women and in some cases being about just, you know, that, that whole thing you was talking about. But, like, throw a percentage out there. What percentage do you think people out there, not just women, but also just the, the whole state of hip-hop is out there? Is it, is it you know, a, a higher percentage of people just thinking it's more materialistic or is it a higher percentage of people that think it is an art form? You talking about people that's doing it, like mm -hmm, that's actually that's doing it right now. Oh, it's yep. a higher percentage thinking it's it's for the materialistic uh, side of it. It's unfortunate, but it is like everybody's not looking at it. Like I, I wouldn't even say you know half the people are looking at it as an art form. You could tell you know who those people are, but it's not enough. Like music radio would be much more balanced if it was you know, uh, uh, a more, more about the art, but it's, it's not, or people in the closet with it, they not showing it, because I don't see it, it's a lot more about everything else but the music, it's about the dance, or the chain, or, you know, the, the video, it's, it's everything, the music is the last thing on a totem pole, so, that's yeah. how I see it. Sad to say, but you know what I'm saying, that Another question, too, you know what I'm saying, that I always used to have, I mean, do you feel like, you know, do you feel like, you know, just the game in general, since, you know, you made that comment, I'm pretty sure the answer might be yes, but do you feel like, you know what I'm saying, just in general, the, the not just the hip-hop game, but the music game in general, has, do you think that took a back seat now and, and ain't, it ain't what it used to be or whatnot? Nah, it, it's not, but I don't think it's to the point where it can't, you know, it can't be changed. Like, it's, is very bad, but um, it, it can be changed. It's gonna take. It, it's almost like a fad. Good music has to be that fad of right now. Um, mm. it, it's gonna have to be some artist followed by some more artists that's putting out that good music. That's gonna make everybody else get on the good music bandwagon because the whack music is the bandwagon right now. Like people will admit, I'm doing, they will call their own songs whack and be like, "This is what's hot right now. Whack music is what's hot. It's like a trend." So when good music gets back in style, then we gonna see, you know, we, we gonna see it level out a little more and get a little better with radio and all that. But it just ain't, it ain't had its time back around yet. But it's coming though, like because the whack stuff is. is, is it's 15 minutes is almost over, so. For real. How, how, soon, <laughs> how soon do you see it coming back around? Do you think that's in the next year, the next five years? I hope so. I hope so. But, uh, like, I look at it like I honestly believe that, like, maybe everybody says this. I don't know, but hopefully we're going to come back to this interview and, and, you know, my words really meant something. It wasn't just, you know, blowing smoke. But I really feel like if when I'm given a chance to come out, that that trend is going to start because you have the Kanye's, you have the comments and things like that. But it's going to take for somebody to make it cool again. And I feel like that I can do that with the machine that's growing that's behind me. I feel like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's... Lauren Hill made it hot again, you know, when she came on. That was a female. That was unheard of. So 
if she right. would have said that, you know, ahead of time or what she, from what she did, then, you know, everybody would probably twist their face up looking at her. But, like, I feel like, you know, if ain't nobody else going to do it, that's cool because it's going to make it better for me and my place in history to be able to do that. So, and I'm hoping that's this year, you know, this new year coming around. But I don't see it being so, any more than two years for, for that turnaround to, to start, that. at least be on the incline. It ain't going to be all yeah. the way, but... It's gonna and you know what, we're going we gonna to make sure we need people just like, you know what I'm saying, yourself, you know what I'm saying, pushing this art form. We're going to need more stations like VMR pushing this real shit. We need more people just in general to just make sure they spread the word about, you know what I'm saying, new artists and they swag. And I mean, you come in, like I said earlier, you come in with a lot of, um, you know, respectable people in the game like MC Light, MC Search, you know what I'm saying, the people over at Dev Jam and stuff like that, really making it pop. So, you know, that's that's okay. that's a good stepping stone, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just the whole thing that we need to do is just, like, you know, bring these uh, ladies back in that good spotlight, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we're going to try to do. But uh, what I want to do right now is go ahead and toss up that joint, B-A-B-Y, for these yeah. listeners out here and good. see what's popping. And, uh, you yeah. know what I'm saying, we're going to keep it we're gonna keep it 100%. And when we do get back, we're going to talk about, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, the underground scene versus the mainstream and how things kind of fell off too. But right now, we're about to get into this, some of this uh, May Day music, you know what I mean, B-A-B-Y right here on v. This is the offering that we got from the lady that's trying to bring back the, the, the right to be able to hold down these ladies in this hip-hop game. This is... Brandon in the house on this vintage music radio ladies night. You know what I'm saying? We got the we got Mayday in the building, you know what I mean? And uh, you know what I'm saying, we got some of the some of the early responses be like, you know, that's that new swag, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 something real popping. So, you know what I mean, that's definitely hot. And if people want to go ahead and check too, make sure y'all go to myspace dot com slash Mayday Mayday, which is spelled M A E D A Y, M A E D A Y, you know what I mean? And uh, you know what I'm saying, that's a hot joint, baby. That's hot. Thank you. That is Thank hot. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's what's going to bring hip-hop back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe that. Yo, that for real. That's hot, y'all. I can see myself spinning that like 10 times in one hour, y'all. No, yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Big, big shout-out to you, you know what I'm saying, for keeping it pushing, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? We do got... We do got some callers on deck. I'm going to make sure I take them in. And uh, emailers, you know, like I said, we keep them coming. And uh, love the support, you know what I'm saying, while we was playing, you know, this joint. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of people saying that's definitely a high track. That's that new swag. That's, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of people that's like, yeah, swag, you can tell it's right there. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know, that mm -hmm. good control over the mic, and you, you got command of that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You definitely doing your thing. Right. Real, Thank you can you tell she's been, she been hanging around some 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 some, some veterans, some people, that's been it for a minute, yo. She bringing it. Thank you know, you, that, you know, she's defined MC, Mike Controller. That's how I do. Yeah. yeah real. That's real. Most definitely. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, one of the things I wanted to ask you, too, especially because, you know, we usually on VMR make sure we hold down the ladies and do, you know, strictly, you know, music for the ladies and, and just making sure that we hold y'all legacy down. You know what I'm saying? Do you see any females out there outside of yourself that's really trying to hold it down for the ladies right now? Yeah, I do. It's just, it's just you know, a hard thing to uh, break right now. But I do. Um, I heard um, a dude mention, like, the whole little, uh, like, Babs and Lady Luck and all of them. Like, I've, I've seen them. They've had an online presence. Um Shauna can go. Um, you got, I don't know if people Shana. really still Shana. feel she, you know, out here like that, but, like, uh, it was Miss J. Like, I remember, like, she I was coming her. hard back when female, it wasn't, females wasn't coming hard like that. Um, it's different. You know, it's, it's, it's a few of them. It, it's plenty of them in Detroit, you know, um, but it's just a matter of somebody, you know, breaking out and getting that that chance to really, you know, to give it and to, to be out here so that everybody can see him, not just, you know, this little circle online or, you know, just somebody, they, they're they going to need a promotion, like a promotional push and, and, and a machine behind them just like the guys got. And once, That's you know, I mean. they're given that chance, you know, if they, if they respect that chance and, and, and do their thing like they're supposed to, then... 
females is going to be that thing again. Every right. label is going to want that one female again, but, you know. So. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, you guys, if you guys want to go ahead and uh, interrupt me as y'all ask questions, y'all can most definitely do that. We're going to kick it, you know what I'm saying, for a little bit longer with Mayday in the house. And like I said, if y'all want to go ahead and reach her, make sure y'all hit her up on the MySpace, which is MySpace.com slash Mayday Mayday. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, are you working on an album right now or – you know, what's, I just what's I just finished right up. That's the one that um I'm putting out with Mick Boogie, and of course you know I'm working on the next one after that. Like I just you know I can't just stop and take no too many breaks in between. So I started on the next one, but um the one that I just finished like a matter of weeks ago, um just got done um, being mastered, and we about to put that out online free download. It's not a mixtape. It's like really an album, but. You gotta do what you gotta do these days to get people to 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 give you a chance and to, to see it yeah. and to hear it. So, yeah. like I heard I, that. I slaved in the studio and put an album. I'm not just rapping on no beats or you know using mm-hmm. other people's stuff. It's all original. It's like it's arranged. It's 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 like been created from the bottom up and like you getting top quality. Like it went to, it went to the mastering plant, got mixed, all that. So I'm putting that out. Um, in January with Nick Boogie, like I said, and we're also mm-hmm. going to partner up with some type of, another type of um, maybe a website or something. I don't know what we're going with yet, whether it be like a Hip Hop DX or All Hip Hop or, you know, somebody. I, we haven't confirmed the details yet, but it's going to be paired up with one more entity and then we're going to put it out there for everybody. So that'll That's be in January. Up. Yeah. That's what's up. I heard through like a little grave on that you 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 doing some uh you doing some remixes and stuff like that to uh some of them uh old school shot uh shot a joints. Is yeah, that true? yeah, that's that's the concept of it. Um it's called Cherish Today. Mayday and Shot A is like a uh you know, like kind of like a mashup and um basically it's it's all like her samples and we use some of her vocals. It sound it's not just like we on some shot a beats. Like, the mm-hmm. beats have been literally, like, remixed. Um, she's on the track, like, with me. She wasn't in the studio or nothing like that. But like, we used her vocals, so she's up front, too. Like, it's not like we just sampling her or, like, she sound like a chipmunk or something on the song. Like, she's yeah. on there, too, and it's just, you know, it's it's a concept album. Man. I can't That's wait to up. hear that. Yeah, it's, it's, wait. it's crazy. That's what's right. up, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, you know, Sade, that was, that was, that was my girl, you know what I mean? So that was, that's definitely right. going to be interesting to see what's up with that, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, that's, that's one of my that's, biggest musical influences. So, like, it was it was only right, and it's, it, it got a whole vibe to it, front to back. And it's just, it's hard to explain it. It's an experience that you have to take on yourself and just listen to it, but... It's been great feedback from that from the people who have heard it thus far. That's what's up. I want to definitely make sure I take a, a big shout out to you know what I'm saying Detroit, you know, and also the you know dude said said is holding it down. Also MC Search and whatnot, you know what I'm saying. I want to right. send a big Good shout out to production. them in their station. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. And also MC Light because I know they probably checking it out too. So I definitely want to send a big <laughs> shout out to them. And I love MC Life. That's my girl, 100. percent You know what I'm saying? She was, oh, she was one of my all time, one of my all time favorites alongside Queen Latifah. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's definitely one of the real deal. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So with all this stuff that's going on, you know what I'm saying? Album in the works and, and stuff like that. I mean, you know, are you working on any videos anytime soon? Or you know, what's up with the, uh, you know, any any videos for not just B A B Y, but just some of the uh, other joints that you're working on? Yeah, I am. We are going to shoot for B-A-B-Y, but we're also going to shoot something for the um, Sade project. And What's up? It's, it's probably going to be around the same time in January. Mm-hmm. And we're just working on treatments and stuff like that, trying to figure out exactly which song we're going to go for because there's so many to choose from. And then yeah. once we figure that out, we're going to put it together. We want to make sure it, it, it looks good, it looks up, up to par and top quality because I'm – I'm not just trying to put it out there just to have some some fuzzy picture on, online somewhere. So when we do it, we want to make sure like it's up to quality. So 
Yeah. yeah. And I was I was told by I was told by light and you know what I'm saying, searching everybody to make sure I, I took good care of you. So, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> make sure you go back go back to them and may let them know that VMR we took real I good will, care of you tonight. But uh I you know will. what I'm saying, before before we actually let you go, a couple questions, you know what I'm saying? And and I definitely appreciate all the people that's responding as far as emails and stuff like that and uh you know, start adding this this female on, on your MySpaces and show her love and stuff like that too because you know what I'm saying? The more you be spreading the word about these artists, you know what I'm saying? Female artists, put them on the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's dominated by men, females got their place in this in this business too. So yeah. make sure y'all pay attention because she got most definitely a lot of talent. Uh, my whole thing is, and I think a lot of these dudes that I know as far as my staff and, and, and the ladies that I know probably didn't heard me say it before, but I always feel like with it being an art form, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, the music in the 70s, there was always a person that, you know, paved the way for somebody to really rock it out in the 80s. And then mm-hmm. the 80s, you know what I'm saying, you had your handful of people that was, you know, giving it up and paving the way for the people in the 90s. And then in the 90s, to me, I feel like it stopped. Something happened I where, agree. you know what I'm saying, people people kind of tend to just like, you know, they, they tend to either stop because they, they was really threatened by, you know, the next, you know, up-and-coming star or something like that or whatever. But, you know, somewhere in between that, it stops. So you really don't have that. Do you see, like, you know what I'm saying, mentors? I mean, you you going way back to MC Search and MC Light. You know what I'm saying? These are some mm-hmm. people that has been 20, 25 years in the business. But do you mm-hmm. see people out there trying to, you know what I'm saying, piggyback on somebody else to do it? Or do you kind of feel like I feel? something happened around the 90s that really just nah, kind of... I, I feel like you feel, because I was kind of shocked, like, with the MC searches and MC likes, like, even Moni Love, like, that was one of the first people that was, like, showing me love and, and reached out a hand also, and, like, I was shocked because, like, my generation doesn't do that, so, mm-hmm. like, with them doing that and just being so cool with it, like, with MC Light, like, she was hitting me up to do a song, like, that was her idea, you know what I'm saying? And then right. another one after that, you know, like, or she'll just hit me up just to see, you know, what I got going on, like, you know, right now. Like, that kind of, like, caught me off guard because, like you said, like, that stopped a while ago. So in my generation, I don't even look for stuff like that. Like, I don't see it. You don't see artists welcoming that next person to carry the torch anymore. It's almost yeah. like they just kind of holding on to it extra tight, like, you know, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a, a insecurity thing or what, but I think that, you know, the only one that's, that's, that's ends up losing in it is the music, like, because, exactly. you know, it's this big gap now. And I, I, like I said, I feel the same way that you do. It's not, there's, there's no, like, bridge to connect the two so that this music can keep going on. That's why we got all these, artists out now that have no direction. They just putting out whatever come out exactly. the top of their head and they just throwing it on the track and and the listeners the same way because you know mm-hmm. because of the artists don't have that, you know, that bridge, the listeners gonna you know, that next generation is not gonna have that bridge also. So you know, they don't know nothing about good music either. So mm-hmm. it just it just messes up music in the end and you know it I don't know. But that's real. I agree with you. That's, see, that, that's it. Cause it always felt like there was a big disconnect. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say what you was going to say. I want to know, uh, it's hard to distinguish over this uh, over this phone or over the, um, over the computer. Uh, is, your, is your drums live? Is that live drums? Yeah, we use a lot of um, live, live drums and, and live elements, live bass, live drums, live keys. Um, we have oh, and like, best um, believe, best believe, B A B Y slaps in the car. That's for damn sure. <laughs> that for damn yeah, sure. that's Denotes' uh, production, and he has a band uh, with from Denotes. You know, he uses band. We got um, got to give a shout out to them, Real Herb uh, and Dundle. Like they, they all live musicians. They on tour with like major acts. I'm talking about like Yolanda Adams and and just Anita Baker and whoever else. So these are real musicians that go in the studio and give that extra effect to these songs. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause I, I could tell it was something different. I, the the uh, drum was hitting harder than, than you normally hear because I, I think that uh, a lot of artists, especially uh, with your vibe, they should definitely use 
live music, and I mean, I know it's yeah. easy to do it on, on the yeah. Triton or whatever it is that you're using, you know what I'm saying, but to have live music right. brings the extra flavor to it. It does, even on the stage show, like, I mean, it's almost like you giving away money when you have, like, a, 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 a live band behind you. It's like they just want to vibe out with you. Like, you can go to rock shows, and if you just, putting in a CD or, you know, whatever, or a DJ or whatever, you know, they looking at you like, you know, you're supposed to do a magic trick or something. like. And if you don't deliver, then it's like, you know, they like, well, what y'all, y'all cut the music off for in the club. But when you got a live band, it's just a total different effect. It's like people just, you know, get caught up in that sound and that vibe and everything. And, and we just applied it to the tracks also because, it's going to do that on stage, then, you know, it's going to make people feel it a little more on the track, too, when they pop it in their CD. They're going to notice the difference. They may not be able to pinpoint it like you would, somebody who's not in the industry, but they feel the difference. So. Yeah. That's real. That is real. Any any final things you want to say to these listeners? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and once again, before you even do that, make sure y'all go and add this woman on your MySpace, which is myspace.com slash Mayday Mayday. If you don't know how to spell it, we're going to spell it for you right now on VMR. It's spelled M-A-E-D-A-Y, M-A-E-D-A-Y, A-B-C-D-E-F-G. Make sure y'all go do what you got to do to go add this, this woman on your MySpace. Hey, dude, uh, you know, I, I ain't even going to say nothing, but I'm just saying, you know, I got to get my mind safe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's big risk, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to do my mind down. You know what I'm saying? My, my space, <laughs> black copper, zero, zero, seven. <laughs> That's my mic down, man. You feel me? He's throwing it, he's throwing it out there for oh, you, no, baby. Thank you, man. You definitely <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 buddy! You said uh, Big Big Rich is live in Iraq right now, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right now, He's live in the Gulf, Gulf Persian Gulf, right now. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, Big Rich, I'll make sure I, I talk it over there because um, as we speak, I'm making sure I'm at Mayday as we speak on on the MySpace. So we're gonna make sure we get it all connected, so everybody have you on here, and I know. Um, you know what I'm saying? As as one of the first ladies out there on VMR, I know Uti wanna just make sure that uh, you know, you add her on the on the VMR ladies uh MySpace so we can be able to uh promote your stuff as well, right, Uti? Most definitely, cool. most definitely. I'm working on that now. That's what's up. That is what's up. And um, you know, as before you go, you know what I'm saying, just go ahead and send your shout outs and stuff like that to your peoples out in out out in Detroit, Mish. Oh man, shout out to Detroit Hip Hop man. Just everybody, man, they know who they are. Like I, I'm I'm shouting them out every day, so they already know what it is. Shout out to y'all at VMR, man. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. And, you know, shout out to everybody who loves good music, man, because it's coming back. That's what's up. And uh and, and at the same time, too, you know what I'm saying, make sure you, you tell your peoples, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, we do got a home for you, like, you know, on the, on, you know, even though this, this internet radio stuff is, is taking off, and, you know what I'm saying, not only are we just in, you know, east, west, in the middle, you know what I'm saying, we worldwide with it, so, you know what I'm saying, it's definitely a, uh, a good outlet to be able to break out music and 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 put people on and and even res even resurrect some careers because that's 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 how I feel we doing it too you know what I mean so you know we're trying to do what we do that's official but uh mayday make sure you pass that on let search know got much love for him you know what I'm saying said tell that dude I definitely appreciate all his help and getting connects oh, yeah. and all that stuff and uh tell my girl MC Light to get at me because I've been trying to get her in for an interview for a long time. So. Oh, really? I'm going to have to spread the word, man, man. Yeah. For real. Let her know what's up, and uh, you know what I'm saying, and just tell her I said thank you for, you know what I'm saying, all the comments that she left me on MySpace and stuff, too. So that's definitely a good look. But I, I definitely I definitely want to thank you for, you know what I'm saying, taking about an hour to kick it with us tonight. And um, you're welcome to come back anytime. you got new music, you come back home and bring it to us. And, you know what I'm saying, we'll debut it, you know what I'm saying, before it's debut anywhere else. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, good luck to you. And I, I'm just glad that, you know what I'm saying, you got a, it sounds like a good woman with a good head on her shoulders. And, and she's trying to bring her art form up to another level. And that's what I'm feeling 100% from you, baby. So, 
you know, much love. Appreciate it. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all doing a great thing. Yeah, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Thank thank you, man. Thank you. That's real. Definitely appreciate it, baby. Get at me. You know what I'm saying? You got you you got the number. Say it got it too. So oh, tell yeah. them to holler at me. All right, y'all take it easy. All right, take care now. All right, all right, yeah. That is Miss May Day. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, make sure y'all go ahead and hit her up on myspace.com slash May Day, May Day. You know what I'm saying? We in the house tonight on VMR. You know what I'm saying? We we wild now. We were supposed to have KO from Real Chance of Love. I know. Shout out to Smooth Man. Next Legacy.